Good morning. This is Torino. I'm at the job site and uh, today we're gonna we're gonna try to deal with some drainage issues. As you can see it's it's raining. We've had probably an ex I would say exceptional amount of rain. Either that or I've been lied to that it doesn't rain that much here. But uh, in addition to the rain, uh, we have a, a lot of rice fields around us and apparently one of the rice fields up there on, on the top of the hill is draining kind of into this field and it's coming down the street which is making things worse. Uh, but uh, we will, we are in the process of trying to come up with a plan to mitigate the drainage, which is good. Uh, it's a challenge that we need to we need to get some experience with before we build the big house. And again, this is just a one-story garage uh, that we're building to hold our household goods. Uh, so. With that, I will show you uh, some video of what we're dealing with here with the water. Right now, as you can see, some of the workers are bailing. We're actually bailing out our footings uh, to try to continue some digging. Uh, but I don't think we're, we're going to get much digging done today except for digging uh, places for the water to the next bill is next bill out of here. But one of the things I noticed this morning that I want to show you is really the problem here. What we have is, is hydrostatic pressure that's built up in, uh, in the soil here. It's, it's, kind of a mixture between regular loamy soil and clay but if you look right there it's a perfect example of hydrostatic pressure and it's just uh, it's just peeing out of there all the way down to probably probably three feet and it's starting to come down pretty good now uh, you can see we've got a lot of water that's coming down the gutter, which is good. But again, uh, the soil is saturated. We've got, we've got all that pressure built up, you know, at least four feet down. The, the, the footings are, are four feet, maybe even uh, close to five feet deep and completely filled with water. So one of the ideas right now is we're digging a trench, uh, kind of an L-shaped trench around the whole property, which we were going to do anyway because there's a concept here called a uh, sewer under sidewalk. And uh, this had to be built anyway to carry away uh, stormwater, wastewater, etc. And uh, what will be built on top of, of this trench. Uh, we're either going to put a concrete, uh, removable concrete tops or, or a steel grating. So this, this trench has to be built uh, and it's going to have to be deep because I don't see any other way. We've got, we've got you know, five foot deep footings filled with water and I don't see the water getting out of there unless the trench is at least an equal depth. But if anybody has ideas, I'd really like you to comment and give me some ideas. Uh, I know how to dig uh, and employ uh, French drains, but I'm not sure how popular French drains are in the Philippines, considering there's a lot of clay soil. So I'm not sure how that would work. 
but I'm gonna try uh, try this trench first to see if we can get this to to drain out of here. And we're gonna have to we're gonna have to send it down the street with the rest of the, of the water. And down here at the end of the street, it does it does go finally go subterranean into a sewer under sidewalk at the bottom of the hill here. But since this is all new construction, there's none of the trenches are really built yet. So we'll be the first one here. I think it's good that we're on a corner so we can we can have that L shape. We're gonna take a walk up the street. See if we could find out where the source of this other source of water is. If it's a misdirected drainage for a rice paddy or something, we're gonna have to try to fix that because obviously it's not all the rain that's causing the problem. It's ground saturation from this, wherever it's coming from. You can see over here to the, the field see the water. We took a walk in there yesterday and pretty much got stuck up to our knees in mud. Over here, totally saturated. That's a street. You can't really tell, but you see the curb. There's a street growing under this grass. Or <laughs> this grass growing on top of the street. So here's, here's a diversion someone created try to get it off the street but it's just going around and right back down it's on the other side of the street but it's obviously contributing to the ground pressure here we go just like we suspected there's a very tall rice terrace right here and it's all coming from here Rain or no rain, it's not going to stop. But here it is. It's your fault. Is it your fault? So much water? How about you? No comment. Okay, we got it. We got a little tour guide here. Come on, stop. find the source and uh, obviously we, we can't divert it. Here's another close-up of the, of the water seepage. Can you see right there? Look. That's how it's percolating and that just tells you that's only six inches down but it's, it's percolating all the way down so that's an indication of how much pressure is on the back of this fill right here. So I'm back down here on the site. We're gonna we're gonna notch the sidewalk here because uh, we got nowhere to go except trench the whole street, and we can't do that. So we're gonna cut. Just cut this. <laughs> Gotta do what you gotta do. 